Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 145, NASDAQ up 52, S&P's up uh, 17, gold contract on $29, traded $1,169 an ounce, silver up 34 cents at $16 and 8 pennies, platinum down 12 at 1223 You get the uh, oil. Down 46 cents traded at 80.66. The bonds, 10 year down 10 ticks at 136.10. The 30 year is off 16 at 141.01. King dollar, King dollar up uh, 773 ticks at 87.07. The euro down 85 at 125. And the yen up three. That's three points at 159.89. Our phone number is 877 927-6648. And if you happen to be watching Tiger TV, folks, this is how old you can get when the, you're a bear and the futures open up 20. <laughs> Woo! Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. What do you have? You get the S&P. Where am I? There we go. Sorry about that. We get the S&P right now, folks. The S&P gets up to a price point of 20.17. Uh, uh, the high uh, is 2019.26. Uh, what is amazing, actually, is that uh, we didn't get to the high. The high that was generated out in the 19... This is the cash S&P, by the way, okay? Cash S&P, 2019.26. That was the high that was generated out there on the 19th. Right now, we got to 20.17. You're at 20.11. We go to the SPY. We take a look at the SPY. What do you have with the SPY out here? SPY gets to a, this is the SPY. SPY gets to a price point of 201.82. The highs up there, 201.89 and 85. Now, the difference is that the, what does happen with the SPY, no doubt. The SPY pays a dividend, so bottom line, small dividend, that, that would be say it's generated at the high. Right now, we're down 103 million shares. Uh, that 103 million is going into the 151. Bottom line is that uh, uh, it is up here on price, no doubt. Uh, this morning, uh, futures were up. Uh, the futures actually were up to, t I believe, the, I think it was at 19, and we're at 06 right now. Let me pull this up. So the futures, yeah, the futures got to 2016. Uh, two, 2016. That's what we got to. Last high out here in the futures was 2014.50. NASDAQ composite. What do you have with the composite? So what do you have with the composite? Composite gets up to a price point of uh, up $53, number one. You're at 4619, and 4619 is over the highs. Uh, that NDX100. What do you have with the NDX100? NDX100 jumped the creek. Um, volume's not bad either. Uh, he did 37 million. Last time we were up here, we did 36 million. We'll see whether it ends up holding price. Gold contract. They whacked gold in a big way. Uh, we have a gold. Gold down $29. You're at 1169. You took out the high, the lows that were generated on October 6th, which was 1183. 280,000 contracts. We, we bring this over. Uh, I'll put this on a continuous contract. Now, what you have with gold, folks, is this. To get gold out of the ground, your average price is kind of right where we are, 1169, 1189. Can it spike it? Yeah, it can. Can it stay down there for a long period of time? No. Why? Because what you have is that you'll have half the gold companies go out of business. Uh, that's the, the positive side. The negative side of this is that you're in no man's land right now. Uh, once you broke the 1179, it's like, okay, can you can you hold 1163? Uh, there's, there has been su support on the way up from 2009, from November of 09, going over to uh, April of 010. Uh, it certainly is not going to reject that lower price out here today. The GLD, we go to the GLD, the GLD, we bring this back. Uh, GLD down 277. The last swing point out here was 114.68. 
That had done two and fifty-eight million. You're breaking that with one fifty-one. So you're breaking it with light of volume. Uh, same texture in the GLD, however, goes like this. Is that at one o five point three one, which is quite a way down? That is December of o nine when the gold pushed upward in an extreme way. Uh, we're into that bar right now. We're into it with light of volume. Uh, bottom line is that we'll see whether we're going to get a rejection or lower price in the next few days. Oil. Oil market out here, what we did with oil. Oil market uh, got down to a price point uh, of 79.55. We've done 266,000 contracts, and that's not holding price either. That's building cause to get into this uh, 75 area. Uh, bonds. Uh, the bond market, with our own equity markets going to the moon, bond market still held, which is pretty amazing. Uh, bonds down, the 10 years down, 8 ticks at 126.12. That has done 1.2 million contracts out here, which is shot volume. We go take a look at the 30-year. What do you have with the 30-year? Uh, we're down 14 ticks. And that's actually a higher low, which is pretty amazing. And the 30-year is the one that you want to watch uh, in spades. Why? The 30-year leads the 10-year. 30-year uh, out here today is done 365,000 contracts. You're going into 559. King Dollar. King Dollar took out its highs. Uh, high, uh, the high point in the King Dollar was the high that was generated out here on the 3rd of October. That was 86.87. King Dollar right now is at 87.01. King Doll has done 63,000 uh, contracts. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a decent number, by the way. Uh, the strength inside the Dow Industrials, this is what you have the strength uh, coming into the marketplace right now. Uh, Intel up 121. You got Chevron up 241. Exxon Mobil's up 192. And DuPont's up 118. Taken away from it, which is hard to uh, even understand, that, uh, but there is, uh, Big Blue. Big Blue is uh, down 59 cents. You got Walmart off 28. Nike's down 35, and you get Pfizer uh, off two. If we do go over and we take a look at the Dow Industrials, what you'll see is that you got up to the 17,395. The 17,350 is the first high that was generated, last high rather, that was generated um, on the 19th of September. Um, bottom line, we'll, say, we'll see whether it can sustain that price. It's only seven, it only has to get seven points higher to get up and over that price. Uh, NASDAQ composite, well, first off, let me go to the NDX 100. The strength inside the NDX 100 out here, you have Expedia putting $4 into uh, its stock price. That's at $84.57. Uh, Advanced Analog Devices is up $2.41 at $49.41. You got uh, Liberty Venture up $169 at $35, bucks, and you get Priceline up $57 at twelve hundred and three dollars uh, and price line had already come down interesting from thirteen fifty uh... taken away from the ndx one hundred right now you get the um, what is that c sba oh sba communications is down two ninety you get uh... discovery uh... is down forty nine starbucks is off one ninety one and you get Gilead science down 257. What is intriguing, and no doubt, is that uh, with these higher prices, uh, for some reason, the IBB couldn't uh, hold its highs out there. Let's go to Stan in Framingham. Hey, Stan, what's going on? Hey, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great, man. You having a good day out there? Yeah, having a great day. How about you? I am. Listen to that Boston accent, man. You know what's so cool? I've been, I, I, can, I can hear a Boston accent a mile away. And when I was up there, Stan, all the time, of course, you never could hear it. Do you know what I mean? Cause yeah, you're, I know. You're just into it. I like it. Cool. <laughs> So, Raytheon, right? That's right. Let's take a look. Okay, so we've got Raytheon Corporation hits a uh, yearly high out here today. The low is 81. The high is 104. You're at 103.35 right now. Okay, so let's bring this back. So you work for Raytheon, right? Correct. Yeah, okay, cool. Okay, so now the question is, do we have an ABC structure on the way up? Oh, boy, it's close. I like it. Okay, so on a weekly basis, 8.7 million, and you're coming in with... 8.1. Nice. Yeah, you stay right there, Stan, all right? Yeah, I'll stay here. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. Dow Industrials right now up 144. NASDAQ's up 52. S&Ps are up 17. We get Stan from Framingham, folks. We want to hear from you. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. You stay right there. We'll come right back.